Welcome back to my channel, it's Rachel Andrea. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get my infamous signature dark red slash burgundy hair color. You're gonna need all the items that I'm showing you guys in this section of the video. All the products will be linked down below for anyone that is curious. So I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal High Color in Magenta in red, and that is my super secret to having the perfect red hair color. I just went ahead to mix both of those colors in a bowl. Did some 40 developer one to two ratio and then I just mix all of the products together and we're gonna be moving on so this is the color that I'm starting with I did go ahead off camera and use 30 developer with the L'Oreal high color in magenta and red and it gave me this darker red kind of color but I decided to take it a step further I wanted a more vivid red I wanted something that was a little bit more stark so I decided to go ahead to do a second processing over top of the original Original dark red hair color so the super infamous secret you guys to getting your red so perfect is applying a lot of L'Oreal product I cannot lie I definitely think I ended up using about 20 boxes no BS no over exaggeration no nothing the more product that you guys have on the hair the better the hair color will penetrate and stick to the hair you are starting off with black hair I did start off with black hair you guys have seen this wig in a couple of my other videos in my YouTube channel but I did make this wig on YouTube I have a whole separate video on my channel of how I made a 6x6 closure wig using a transparent closure. This hair is from Very Stylish. If you guys did not know, I do have my own brand called Very Stylish. I had it from the years of 2018 to about mid-2019. I had to stop because unfortunately COVID just put a pause on hair businesses and of course mine was included but this is my hair. It's my Mongolian body wave hair. I ended up using a 26, 24, 22 and a 20 20 inch 6x6 transparent closure. This is what the hair is looking like right now. Like I said, I used a ton of L'Oreal high color reds to put on the hair because like I said, the more product you guys use, the better the color will penetrate the hair and turn it into a beautiful red color because we are starting off with a super dark base. So I just let this product sit for about four hours. The first time I let it sit with the 30 developer I'm not gonna lie I did let it sit for about eight hours and then the second time I let it sit for only four hours because we were using a stronger developer the secret is the longer you let it sit on weave extensions or natural hair the lighter the color will be so I'm just going ahead to use some shampoo but the real secret is just letting the water sit on this color or this wig for a quite some time because you do not want it to bleed. I have been using L'Oreal High Color since college days and I do know if you do not rinse it out properly, this color will stain everything. It will be on your bed sheets, it will be on your pillows, it will be on your clothes, it will be everywhere if you do not, do not rinse it out properly. So just make sure you guys know that rinsing it out as good as possible, shampooing and conditioning it and then this is gonna be the results. This red is so beautiful you guys. I think the the prettiest part about this red is the way that the light hits it from the sun because it gives it like a magenta berry undertone but then in other lights it looks like just a vivid red it's literally the perfect combo by mixing both of those colors together so now I'm just moving ahead to blow drying the hair you guys already know I love to let my wig sit for about 80% dry 85 90 if you're nasty you know what I'm saying um, but I did let 
let it sit for quite some time because you guys know I just do not like blow drying my hair when it's soaking wet. I also just didn't straighten it. I decided to last minute curl the hair on camera um, just because I think you guys just like when I do footage like that. I don't know, just showing you guys like from the start to the finish. So I did hot comb my closure. It was already plucked previously because like I said, I do have this wig already on my channel and I've been wearing it in a couple of vlogs on my channel as well. So this is where we are starting off with. Don't mind my little shortcut, you know what I'm saying? It's growing back. But this is what the wig looks like on camera. It is so vibrant and stark, you guys. It's amazing. So shout outs to Erica J for sponsoring this video. Woo woo. I'm gonna be showing you guys the new watermelon scented limited edition adhesive skin guard as well as her lace glue. Both of these items have a watermelon scent to it, you guys. Changing the game, the first to ever do it. No other company. Shout outs to Erica J because her mind is just, the creativity sis is just endless, okay? but I've never seen a lace glue that is scented before. I've just never seen it. I've never held it in my hand. I've never played with it. I never tried it. It just ain't, it just wasn't, it just wasn't out there, sis, okay? My own little review, never been done before type of product. I feel like it's the same quality as her original. This is definitely something for someone that does not like that chemical adhesive smell with the lace glue. Sometimes you can have products that have just a super distinct lace glue smell to it. So this will definitely be for somebody that does not like that chemical type of smell, as well as just for someone that just loves the scent of watermelon. I'm not really watermelon eater I don't really like watermelon I'm just saying don't kill me or nothing but I just don't really like watermelon but I love the fact that it does smell fruity because your girl is a fruity type of girl okay I love fruity scent but it just smells amazing so I just think the creativity in my opinion is a a1 a plus plus a1 girl you did that because the creativity is a creativity for me dog okay so I'm just gonna go ahead to apply my wig you guys have seen me apply this wig I don't know how many times on my channel I do want to remind you guys that this is not um, HD lace it is my transparent lace from very stylish again this is my own brand and I'm gonna try my hardest actually I am I am bringing it back in 2021 I am NOT gonna let this COVID situation stop me you know what I'm saying from getting the coins and also you guys just really love my hair so moving forward you guys are gonna start seeing my hair a lot more on my channel because I really really want to try my hardest to bring my brand back because you guys just love my quality of my hair so much so I'm going to be really doing it for you guys so I'm just going to go ahead to mold down my lace putting my elastic band on doing my little baby hairs and I'm also going to be curling the hair on camera for you guys because you guys love to see that part of the video as well So I'm going to take a little bit of um, Erica J's Sleek Shine Heat Protectant Spray. I love using this for all of my natural raw hair textures. I used this in another video in with the Chambray Hair Indian Raw Wavy. And then again, my original Raw Mongolian Body Wave. So I just think that this product in natural hair in general, I feel like this sheen spray is superb. So I'm just going to head to curling the hair 
hair. And uh, that is pretty much the end of the video, you guys. Again, shout outs to Erica J for sponsoring this video. Woo, woo. Um, you guys know I was using her products for the longest time before me and Erica J even spoke to each other. Um, so I just love the fact that I have been able to support her from the beginning without her paying me. Everything has been my own personal thoughts for the longest. And I'm just so proud of her, you guys. You know what I'm saying? I just think that she is just so innovative. I think that she is like, the, the most hardworking girl I have ever freaking witnessed and seen. And I'm just super, 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 super proud of her because the creativity is just where it's at. I love the packaging. I love her products. And I just honestly love her as a person in general because she's just so sweet and just so amazing. But I'm literally gassed in Erica J, okay? Because I just love her so much. But um, yeah, that is pretty much the end of this video. I love the watermelon scented idea. I think it's so cute. It's so creative and make sure you guys get it tonight at 12 a.m happy thanksgiving to you all i hope you guys are just grateful i'm grateful because if it wasn't for you guys i would never be who i am today and i honestly would probably never be honestly i would never have been larasia andrea if it wasn't for my fairies so i'm so grateful to have you guys in my life ah I'm just so grateful. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a very happy and thankful Thanksgiving. And I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow because I'm dropping another video tomorrow. <laughs> I love you guys so much and can't wait to see you guys in my next one. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video if you guys loved it. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out ericaj.com. And can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.